Uh, Reverend, you, you get the last word. Sure, just everybody just listen for a second. When Ukraine fought for life, battling her hangmen, living and dying and waiting in vain for some signs of compassion, Europe was silent. When Ukraine in unfairly weighed battles drained of blood, drenched in tears, looked to friends for survival, Europe was silent. When gripped in chains and brute force, Ukraine was enslaved, not a master of the land that she tilled, when her cries even stirred the immutable cliffs, Europe was silent. When Ukraine reaped a harvest of sorrow for her Lord executioner, herself dying of hunger and unable to speak, Europe was silent. When Ukraine was accursed and replaced with mass graves, when the demon himself had shed tears for her plight, Europe was silent. Do you know when that poem was written? Do you want to guess? 1931, almost 100 years ago. This has just been the plight of the Ukrainian nation throughout history. It's a sense of being attacked, invaded, and not helped by the world. And that's why I wanted to share that poem with you, just to understand that the suffering of the Ukrainian people is not new. It's in the DNA of the history of this particular nation. So I wanted to share that with you. And it's not so much even the poem, but it's when it was written, 1931. Reverend, if you can uh, email that to us, we'll post that on gbwire.com. Sure, that's written by Alexander Olis. Okay, just uh, email that uh, to us and we'll, we'll get it up. Sure. Thank you and good night.